My opponent, John Gillis, recently attacked my business background, but the shocking numbers in my credit history stem from a time that my opponent stole my Visa card for what he called Quaalude Palooza 1997. The truth is, my business history is quite impressive. It's just not as important to me as family. What does my opponent think about family? Pfft, uh, he's the kind of man, you go out to dinner with him, it's just him and his wife and you, and it's like, hey man, come on. <laughs> Your party is two-thirds of the bill. Even though they're like, oh, this is one of them times you really should pick up the bill. He still doesn't pick it up. Now, is that the kind of man that we want representing us? No way! Adorable. This message paid for by Jack Gillis for America. Jack Gillis, my opponent and identical twin brother, used my niece to paint a negative picture of me. But you didn't mean those things you said. <laughs> no. Goodbye. You're a good girl using his own daughter against his own brother to claim that I don't care about family? <sighs> what a dick. Even though he was already married, I watched at my bachelor party as my opponent, identical twin brother, and best man used his fingers to manipulate a professional sex worker. Don't let his confusing words manipulate you, America. You decide when you're in the voting booth, are you ready to let this face represent you? This message paid for by John Gillis's Jack Gillis Blows Super Pack. Hi, I'm Jack Gillis. Obviously, John Gillis, my opponent and identical twin brother, good kid, he used a recent campaign ad to imply that I performed a sexual act on a stripper. The fact is, she was more than a stripper. And what we were paying for, as well as what I did, were completely legal in that county. I finger blasted her, she was over 18. If anyone failed, failed to embrace the spirit of that sick weekend, it was my opponent, who didn't really do anything but catch up on watching cable network news and reading the Wall Street Journal. Boring, I wanna be smart. He is smart. Also, I made up Quaalude Palooza. That's not something John ever really did. This message paid for by Jack Gillis for America. <sighs> My opponent and identical twin brother, John Gillis, released two political attack ads in a row. The first one, claiming that I did some filthy things to a woman that I paid for sex. In the second, he admitted to doing just that while pretending he was me. Now, I can understand the confusion because, well, he used my own political ads, iconic imagery that you folks have grown to trust. But that was John, not me. If the shot was wider, you'd have seen that John's right arm is slightly shorter than his left. See? I'm Jack, you understand? I'm Jack. Now, John, while pretending to be me, also claims that he never did anything unseemly at his own bachelor party. Well, if that's the case, how do you explain this? Mm, this cup tastes so good. You don't want to judge him on that? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come along with me on a little tour of his house? Because luckily, that's just where I am. Do you know that when we were eight years old, he set up a camera for fun and told me that my entire family had been murdered by Peter Tork of the Monkees. And he just threw in there, oh, Mickey Dolan's had nothing to do with it. One of them facts people throw in to make it seem more real. Well, I believed it. Also, I've heard John use the N-word two times this month. Once, he was singing along to Jay-Z on the radio, but the other time, he definitely was not. He was just saying it. This message paid for by Jack Gillis for America. Bullshit, you dick suck. The only racial slur I still use is engine, and that doesn't even count. There aren't even any around to be bummed out about it or whatever. John Gillis approved this message. One, you do say the N-word. Two, you say engine way too much. Three, you don't use any other racial slurs. Are you forgetting about your accountant? This message paid for by Jack Gillis for America. I fucked Kelly when we were juniors. Oh no, how could you sit my high school sweetheart? Pussy. John Gillis approves. Hi Kelly. I'm Dana Gillis. 
And I raised my boys to be smart, passionate, and above all, creative, which John showed well in his video where he pretended to be Jack. Thanks, Ma. Not now. I've always told my sons that family comes first, but since they can't remember that, I've decided they can't stay in this Senate race. Uh, do you have something you'd like to say to one another, boys? Jew's not a racial slur, it's what he is. John! Sorry. Jack? Sorry. And? I love you. I love you. Good. Now that my sons are out of the race, we, as a united family, endorse Glenn Jones. He has that ad with his mother that's so sweet. We're, we're the, the Gillises, and, and we, we approve, approve this, this message. message.